Hello friends and welcome to the Second Stringer Show. It's Thursday, June 8th. And yeah, as you can see, I'm stepping up my game a little bit. Making the show a little bit more professional. See, I needed one of these. Because this is what real coaches have. And make no mistake, I am a real coach. You're coaching life. And like a real coach, I'm going to give you advice on how to properly live your life while my life is actually going terribly. But it should all go smoothly, just as long as there's no distractions. I say boycott T.C. Williams! Uh, what do you have to say, racist dad, from Remember the Titans? Boycott T.C. Boycott school! <sighs> Sir, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Five times. Five times, player of the week. Sir, I don't care how good your son is. You're the only vocally racist person in this community. You've gotta go. You just stay out of it, girl. Okay, sir, that's just stepping over the line. You need to go home and get some sleep. So I just want to say to you, good night, coach. Moving on, it's time for another Timmy tantrum. When I wanted to grab markers today, there's only one destination I could think of. One of America's finest institutions, CBS. By now you've gathered that I'm using the word finest sarcastically and can only describe CVS as a circus tent developed by Satan himself that's his only portal to the living world where he tortures us for his amusement. What makes CVS so evil in the first place is that it has everything. Oh, you're looking for the bug spray? Yeah, aisle six next to the frying pans and tampons. So at first it lures you in with promises of simplicity. You think you're just gonna be in and out with everything you need. But then you get to the register and the same people that were in line when you walked in are still in line. And the only difference is, they're much unhappier now. This can all be thanks to the good old productive members of society we call the CBS staff. By now you've gathered that I'm using the word productive sarcastically, and can only describe the CBS staff as soulless monsters who use ineptitude and laziness to feed their insatiable hunger for your misery. First of all, there's always like 10 registers open, but only one person working. How can that be? I wouldn't go to a water park if there was only one staff member. Wait a minute, you're doing all the cleaning? Okay, no, no, we're leaving. I've always been against robots replacing humans, except when it comes to these people. Self-checkouts have been adopted by every grocery store, but CVS can't because they know it will render their entire workforce useless. Self-checkouts were made for people who were buying like five things, and that's CVS's bread and butter. If you go to CVS and you buy more than five things, you should be arrested on the spot, because God knows what you're up to. It's fetish, it's fetish shit! I'm only saying all this because we all really need CVS. Out of beer and you're too drunk to drive? CVS. Need a plunger immediately for that disaster in your bathroom? CVS. Got a little too careless in the bedroom and you want to make extra sure there's no surprises? Just reach for the plan CVS. So with such an important business in the balance, I don't get why these staff members are chosen to be the face of it. It'd be like if the American Heart Association chose Michael Moore as a spokesperson. Yeah, technically he has one, but I'm not sure if you guys know what you're talking about anymore. I don't know how they hire at CBS, but I'm assuming it goes something like this. Well, hello there. And if you're watching this video, congratulations! You've just been hired as a member of the CBS Pharmacy. Now, if you're a functioning member of society, please shut this video off and turn in your collared shirt and pants. Sorry, it couldn't work out. <sighs> now that they're gone, you can finally get down to the basics of being a CBS employee. If a customer's in a hurry to get out, make sure you ask them as many questions as possible. For example, do you have a CBS card? If not, would you like a CBS card? And if they don't want one, just scan one anyways, just to show them you could have just done that in the first place. Make sure only one of you is at the register at all times. And if God forbid two of you have to be at the register, make sure the buying process is as complex as possible. Like putting a sign up that says, swipe card, use chip reader. <laughs> they won't know what the fuck to do. Lastly, all you need to do is get some gauges in those ears. Or some other incredibly distracting physical feature. You're on your way to being one of us. CVS, tough shit, you need us.